It is not the critic who counts. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. We are now ready to start on our way down the great unknown. We are three quarters of a mile in the depths of the earth, and the great river shrinks into insignificance as it dashes angry waves against the walls and cliffs that rise to the world above. The waves are but puny ripples, and we are but pygmies running up and down the sands or lost among the boulders. We have an unknown distance yet to run, an unknown river to explore. What falls there are we know not, what rocks beset the channel we know not, what walls rise over the river we know not. Ah well, we may conjecture many things. The men talk as cheerfully as ever, jests are bandied about freely this morning, but to me the cheer is somber and the jests are ghastly.
said, well, he walked. He walked from, from central Colorado to northern Arizona, which is 500 miles. No, he didn't walk. I mean, come on, he didn't walk. He wouldn't have weighed 67 pounds if he'd walked. And he wouldn't have made it anyway. So there was controversy over him. Congress actually took up the issue and had a congressional hearing about it because they were putting a monument for Powell on the South Rim and they wanted to say, first through the Grand Canyon. And somebody said, well, uh, let's just go a little easy on that, Senator, because maybe James White floated through before Powell. So um, they changed their minds and put up a monument right up here in the South Rim that says, uh, first scientific expedition through the Grand Canyon. Oh. White, of course, didn't roll a boat. He hung on to a lock. See, you know, and he never took any credit. He never tried to say, oh, you know, I beat Powell, I'm, I'm, well, I'm fine, you, know. you know, special. All he said was, I just, I just saved my life, and I wish you people would keep, stop bothering me, you know, and keep coming around. <laughs> he lived until 1909, <laughs> even though he did this in 1867. He lived until 1909, James. Drop. Yes, so you're going to be trying hands. to get as close to that as line. Kind of so that means we'll land on the right and walk up and scout uh, the rapid from the right side. And it's good that if everybody walks up to the scout point and takes a look at the rapid. My first rowing trip was 1993. I uh, got to do a, a baggage boatman trip, and then the summers following that, I did a couple more trips each summer while I was going to law school. You know, the canyon speaks for itself. I think people come expecting to be blown away by the canyon, and they always are. But it's the other things, it's the other people, it's the the dinners and the meals, and just the general, you know, ebb and flow of a day that really uh, makes a trip something above and beyond. I lost an oar trying to push across, and uh, as soon as I lost that oar, it was over. I think that's when we poured over the rock and probably tore the floor and banged up the box and said, hey, we got a big rip in the floor. And I said, that's, maybe that's why the water's not going down. <laughs> we pulled out and uh, patched it up, spent three hours on the beach, sewing it and gluing it. And it's holding rock solid <laughs> so far. Yeah, and Hans uh, in the past used to be a much more mellow rapid because you could always, almost always go left. And that is all long gone, so the river has changed. It's uh, iconic in American and world history, and I, as you say, the Grand Canyon, and everybody knows it. And it's just a once in a lifetime experience for most people. And, I think if people come down here that they, they recognize that right away.
Thank mm-hmm. you.